This week, I want to talk to you about some tips on how to network that have helped me this past week, and also how you might benefit from some unintended consequences, just as I might benefit. I am learning to thrive in the gig economy. Would you like to learn too? This week, I had several situations where I was networking with people, and I got to thinking about how, how could I benefit? What, what am I doing that's beneficial when I meet with people? I told you last week that I was going to go to an audition for a speaker's bureau, and that I was hoping to get invited to be part of the bureau. Well, while I was there, I was walking around, I was just introducing myself to people, and there was another speaker who was auditioning, and she, uh, she was quite excited about uh, meeting me. And we talked a little bit, and uh, she does much more of a motivational, inspirational type speaking. I do more educational. So it's not like we're competitors at all, and that's what we mentioned to each other. And then we thought, well, maybe we should get together and uh, talk about how we might be able to work together. Maybe we can come up with some sort of program where we, have, we both speak, one on an educational topic, one on a motivational topic. So she's contacted me, and we've got to figure out a date, but that'll come up soon. But that's one way of networking. How can you build something together that'll be helpful? All right. Then later on, I was uh, talking to somebody at an Amazon meetup. As you know, I, I, I also sell stuff online to supplement my editing, uh, in editing business. And this fellow and I were talking, and he and his wife... I just started getting involved in selling on Amazon. And he said the reason why is because his wife owns a, a boutique and uh, she has some extra inventory. So she wants to figure out how to sell it and she's pretty good with name brands and things like that. And I told him a little bit, you know, and, I, and here's what I did. I gave him some advice on how to sell on Amazon for free. I just said, here, do this. Why don't you think about this? Have you thought about that? Why don't you work on these other things? And afterwards, he was like, yeah, oh yeah, I'll do all that. Yeah, that's, that's great information. That's great information. And you said you're, you're what, a writer? Yeah, because, you know, now I think about my wife. Uh, is talking about updating her, her website. Do you do that kind of work? Maybe, let's talk, let's get, let's get together later about it. You see, that's another way of doing networking. I offered something for free to this guy didn't cost me anything, but I was just doing it because I knew, so, I knew, you know, he wanted to learn how to do Amazon. And he felt like, well, is there something I can do for you now that you've helped me? Yeah, actually, I'm an editor. So now he's thinking about possibly giving me a job uh, updating his, the wife's website. That it might come through, I don't know. Now, the third bit of networking has to do with unintended consequences. And before I tell you about that, what I'd really like you to do is if you're if you find these tips helpful, please hit the like button. It would really help me because YouTube's watching that kind of stuff. And at the end of the video, if you could share this, that would be most helpful as well. Well, unintended consequences. California passed the freelancers law, really basically about Uber and Lyft. Some people are saying it's to protect the Uber and Lyft drivers. Other people are saying it's just to put pressure on Uber and Lyft to make them less competitive. It doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is, by reclassifying a lot of freelancers as uh, contract workers or, or uh, part-timers, it's causing a lot of ruckus dealing with writers and editors. Well, what happened? The wife of a friend of mine, who sort of knew I was doing editing, reached out and said, oh, you know, uh, I've been told that for the advertising section of the magazine I work for, we can't use freelancers anymore and in California. We have to reach outside the state, unintended consequence. We have to reach outside the state to find freelancers. And I remember you do some editing. Do, do, do you do this kind of editing? Of course I said, yeah, why not? So uh, an unintended consequence of a law being passed in California dealing with freelancing is going to help those of us outside California. And that's kind of important for you to know that if you're outside California. See if there's any opportunities in California that you can, might be able to exploit. You know? So that's three different ways of networking. You know, this woman 
I, I've said hello to her a couple of times. I've met her a few times, but I don't really know her. But she remembered, because her husband is my friend, that I was an editor. And so she reached out. I hope these types of little anecdotes about how to network can help you. And if you've got any tips for me on how to network, that would really be helpful because I am learning to thrive in the gig economy and I'm hoping you are too. Together I think we're succeeding. Till next week, take care.